not sure if you can hear us. Uh, Miss Second. Uh, from right, there we go. Okay, if you can hear me, um, guys, I'm going to promote to the panel. I've got Neil Jones and Jim at the moment. If you could use the hands up. That's useful. Yes, we can see you, Neil. Neil, can you talk so we can just check we can hear you in the room as well? Yeah, can you hear me, Matt? Yeah. Oh, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Just bear me a second. Um, goodness. That's going to be interesting. Let's see if that, we've got sound on there. Try again, Neil. Can you hear me now? Okay, it's a problem. That is a problem. Oh, we can't hear you, so just bear with one second. Uh, yeah. Again? Can you hear me? Yes. Go on. That's helpful, then write it. Write the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, we can hear you now. Can hear you. No, you can hear me now, yeah. Yes. By the way, Neil. Okay, yeah, I mean, in the circumstances, given given everything over the summer and the way, the, way the, uh, the game was, was that about as good as it could be hoped for for the first game of the season? Pretty much, pretty much. It's like um, what you need, obviously, what you go for in the start of the season is a result. So the result is, um, depends on the performance, obviously, and I think we were today um, absolutely good enough um, to win the game. Um, and it was the most important thing. We, we have also very professional performance, which what I liked a lot. Because I said it outside already, I don't need a 20, 25 minute sensational spell um, and then losing the game. So it makes no sense. You have to be in the game. You have to start a season. That's what we did today. I'm really happy about that being a, uh, having an away game against a freshly promoted team in the fully packed stadium for the first time. So they celebrate pretty much everything today um, together or wanted to celebrate. And that's the, the, the situation. So I'm really, really happy. Uh, that we played how we played, we can play better. That's clear. But I played very professional, and I'm happy about that. Obviously, um, three from four players uh, all on the score sheet as well. Uh, you know that that's a good omen to start the season. They've all looked pretty sharp in pre-season, and they've taken that into the campaign. Absolutely, very, very good. So you know that um, these kind of things are important that you don't even start talking about that. Um, so I'm really happy about that. But in in general, um, how. There are so many, it's good, you win 3-0 and you know exactly, okay, we have to improve that, we have to improve that, we have to improve that, and we can improve that. And some things just will be better only because we have a week more time, um, and some things um, we have to work on, of course. And so, you know, all good for the moment, could not be better. With virtual back after ages, with um, a lot of things, um, um, cost us playing the first game, um, first start, um, yeah. Nabi in a really good shape. So all this kind of stuff is really important for us. Um, and that's why I'm really happy. Okay, thank you, Neil. We've got Jim and no other hands up, guys. You are going to have to put your hands up if you want to ask questions. No, you don't have to. <laughs> yes, Jim, fire away. Hi, Jorgen. Uh, Jorgen, one of the most impressive stats that I saw in the first half was, although Norwich had an awful lot of possession, they had only one shot in target. So uh, that showed the quality of your defending there, the, how comfortable you are as a back unit as well. The Norwich, a home team, first time in the Premier League, back up, and there were, you limited them to one shot and target. Yeah, I didn't feel exactly like that. We were not overly happy with it and because we had to run a lot to defend them. But you're right, in the end, we, they couldn't finish the situations up, which is obviously the most important thing. Uh, but we would have liked to win the balls in different areas. Um, but it's all fine. No, it's absolutely a really, it was a good game. It was um, not um, the, the sensational game, um, which we played already in a few moments in the past, but really good and really mature and really professional. So I'm really happy about this start. You know, let's carry on and use it. Thank you. We go to Ian Doyle from the Echo and then John West. Ian, next. Yeah, Jürgen, I just wanted to ask about Costas. Um, obviously, it's his first Premier League start. He's waited a year for it. How do you think he did? Very good. Very good. I would say for, for at least 80 minutes, was very good. Played good, was involved in all offensive stuff, defended well. And then, obviously, somebody pulled the plug a little bit. And then we... Uh, it was, um, uh, yeah, but that's normal after that long period. Um, so, no, it was a really good debut and um, um, from the start in the away game. Um, played a really good game. I mean, and how reassuring was it to see Virgil out there and just, you know, just to take he was enjoying himself again? Yeah, absolutely. So um, nobody knows, not even himself. So where is, where is he? Is he a 90%, 95% like 
fitness wise is 100 percent as where you can be otherwise you wouldn't have played but um from a form point of view shape whatever that's uh so it's different and so then each game helps obviously and it was really good to see him again having him back on the pitch especially on set piece defensive set pieces look really really good um offensive set pieces um with the two um, monsters with Joel and we were really were really good there we um, we scored from a second ball. It, I think most goal was uh, was a brilliant routine, really. Um, and getting the second ball in that area and, and finishing off. So, yeah, it was nice to have him back. Okay. And as it stands, John West to conclude the press conference for Liverpool, John? Oh, yeah. Can, can we just have a word about Mo Salah? He scored one, set up two, and became the first man to score in each of the last five opening days. It, it seems he's willing to carry on where he's left off <laughs> the, fir the first ever or what the I, first ever player who scored at, in the Premier League he scored in the <laughs> yeah, yeah that's first awful. opening day opening weekend I, I would assume he knew about it and wanted to score that uh, but that's why it was the extra motivation um, so yeah really good game come on when, 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 when you know about that and you set up the first two goals um, uh, which is um, really cool uh, and he, after he scored he, he, he tried to find Sadio twice um, with the pass, so it was really, really good. Oh, more is more. So um, when you when the competition starts, he goes in the next year, um, and because he's a proper competitive boy, and um, so yeah, good to have him. Any follow up, John, or is that? Yeah, that, that's perfect. Thank you very much. Super. Thank you very much, well, guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. All the best. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye.